Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Wednesday, it's midweek. Uh, let me give you some um, pick me up on today, right? In 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, let me remind you of what God's promises in his word says. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, it says anyone that is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. If the old has passed away, that means that we are able, more than able, we have the ability and the capacity to receive the new. The only reason why that old is still with us is because we have not humbled ourselves to receive what is new. We're still holding on the old or we are allowing the old to have power over us. Now, the only issue with that is that because the old has passed away and the new has come, then that means God has given us power to walk in the new. Okay. Now, what does this have to do with self-image? It has to do with a lot of it because in Romans 8, 1, it says, therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ. That means that that condemnation that we have upon ourselves, it pronounces us guilty, but God sent his son so he can free us from that guilty verdict, right? So we can have life. So that way, when we look in the mirror, we don't see no longer a distorted view of who we are. We see a real view, one that's true, one that's honest, one that's genuine, a fixed, permanent view, an image in the likeness of who Christ is, who we've been made and formed and fashioned in. It's that positive image, right, that we can recognize our own assets and potentials. That means our strengths, what God has given us. But we're also being able to be realistic about our liabilities and our limitations, our weaknesses. How we think about ourselves, how we feel about ourselves, and how we interact with others is determined by how we see ourselves in the mirror. Are we holding the past on ourselves still? Or are we moving forward looking at a positive image, the image that God created us to have? God bless you and have a wonderful day.